everyone welcome back to the channel I hope you're doing well fine and dandy this afternoon I'm gonna tap right in and see what storyline spirit would like to share with you get some get some copal resin going Oh, appreciate everybody being here with me tonight or today, whatever time it is that you are in right now. Thanks for being here. Uh, collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy, what storyline would you like to share with the collective, please? And thank you. Storyline for the collective, please, spirit. Storyline for the collective. In the central energy. In the central energy, we've got the page of wands. Hmm. Something new. You're starting something new. And you may not know quite where you're going, but you're going there. You've got some discovery mindset going on. Gonna go exploring. In the challenge position. Ooh, in the challenge position, we've got the star here. Yeah, excitement, freedom, exploring, free spirit. Challenge is the star. There is a renewal, a rejuvenation, perhaps. Um, the magic is flowing around you and in you, um, bringing a healing, perhaps. In the subconscious. Yeah, in the subconscious, you're thinking about this competition this five of swords well in the central energy you've got the page of wands which is excitement and freedom and um limitless potential right so in the subconscious you're thinking about this it could be that um you're still thinking about this fighting that's going on In the recent past. Judgment. Absolution. Or a reckoning. It's a new phase. All that's playing out now. Like a, you know, mott atonement everything's coming back into alignment man this was brutal intentions and expectations well that's the uh, a whole bunch of cars just flipped right out of there Intentions and expectations, please, Spirit. We've got the Six of Swords. You're uh, releasing that baggage and you're moving on. You're releasing the bullies, the uh, abuse, those who um, were competing with you. And still might be trying to force their way into your energy. In the near future... In the near future, you've got the Queen of Swords here. 
making judgments without emotion. There's no reason to get emotional about the truth, right? The truth is what it is, and that's that. So you're here um, setting boundaries. You're not interested in um, sob stories or pity parties or any of that. The lens is being looked through. Oh, this came out and it came out and flipped out in the reverse. So that's five of wands reversed. Ending the conflict. environment hold on because I don't know which way that came out in the end in the environment you've got the chariot yeah so there's an ending of this conflict there is a forward movement with the chariot here you're moving forward you got a victory you're getting on out of dodge or um, mm. Ooh, hopes and fears. We got the hierophant here. That's um, a high level commitment to what? Traditional values. Um, ethical and moral. Um, ethical and moral ways of being, teachings, a return to. Uh, a value system that um, what <laughs> that isn't what it was that isn't what it has been on the outgoing energy you've got the hermit here so you could be um, doing some soul searching you might be researching you might be tending to the light within you might be meditating and connecting here with the hierophant with your source, with your higher source, or whatever your guiding principle is. On the bottom of the deck, we got sun. And um, the queen of cups, and the two of cups. Compassionate, nurturing, unified love, marriage and connection. Someone might uh, be trying to betray you in order to gain your pentacle here and a new beginning. They want to come in unpredictable and charming because they're in a nine of swords energy. And um, you've got this, you're an earth angel and you're, you're very, very strong. Beware, somebody's here um, wanting to take advantage of you. But you've got the queen of pentacles here, which is a um, supportive mother figure or a parental um, guide or guardian, perhaps. And um, making certain that there is a reconciliation here and a completion of this heavy burden. So whatever that is. There is still some tomfoolery going on, and I don't know why they chose Tom's name for that phrase, but that's what they did. There is somebody here wanting to play trickster because they're having a nightmare. So um, all I could really say to that is um, you've been patient for a very long time. And just to go ahead and continue exercising patience. Uh, for me, that was the main directive. 
throughout um, my my experiences. Ooh, we got some nice smoke in here. I'm gonna have to let it go. We're gonna start coughing here pretty soon, but you know what? That's the sap from the tree of life, and when I do this, I just love it. Ever since going to ceremony um, a couple weekends ago, uh, a buffalo ceremony, and they, oh man, they had copal burning the whole time. It was fabulous. Now I'm kind of stuck on it. Alrighty then. So you've got excitement and freedom here. Page of Wands. Limitless potential. You're a free spirit. Going for it. Discovering. Discovering. You're on a mission. Shine. You're shining. You got your shine going on here. You're the star. Rejuvenated. You could have healed. Maybe you're challenged by healing uh, from whatever this bullying situation was. Martyr. Martyr. Somebody's trying to martyr you. You've got your freedom here. You're shining. Your challenge is that you're the star and somebody did martyr you in a competition. They might be still trying here. They're under judgment. Puppetry, they manipulated you, abusive relationships, trickery, trying to get away with something, they didn't care about you, they martyred the star, they martyred the rejuvenator, they martyred the um, eternal flame, which brings life and health and abundance. You're the shining one and you're excited because you've got your freedom. You still got your shine. Even though they martyred you, a star, um, you still have your shine. You were able to turn your light back on or whatever it was they did. You were able to overcome it. These ones who are being bullies, um, puppeting you, maybe manipulating your life, um, martyred you and then manipulated your life into something horrible. And now they're under judgment for this. There is absolution or redemption and a reckoning going on here. We got backstory. You might not know what the backstory to this is. But you're moving on. The relationship is ending here. I'm sorry. I got to go open the window. I got a little too much smoke going on. Toby's like, pew, pew, mama. All right, so yeah, you may not know what the backstory is. I mean, you might not remember being martyred, star, um, but it happened and you're, got, you're here with your shine on and you got your freedom. So the relationship is ending. You're leaving that baggage behind. The one thing about not remembering is it's perfectly authentic whatever you are whoever you were whatever perceptions you know uh, were made about you um, whatever you are currently um, it just it's either in the soul and gonna show up or it's or it's a role an act right so anyway you've got perception in the reverse 
the re relationship is ending. There's a judgment here. A perception. Perception is in the reverse. Nobody's able to make a perception. Nobody's able to spy on you. Nobody's able to gain a perception of you because you're leaving that baggage behind. So they don't know what you're doing. They don't have any information to base a perception on because they don't know where you're going or what you're doing. They won't be able to spy on you any <clears throat> anymore. Wherever you're going, they can't spy on you because there are clear boundaries here. And you're not emotional about it. You don't want revenge on anybody and you don't want to entertain anybody's pity party. Um, you simply want to be separated. They martyred you. They decided they didn't want you in their life and because they couldn't snatch you up, bury you and claim you, keep you buried and claim you. You, you came out, you popped out. And <clears throat> what they called it is sabotaging yourself. How dare you shine? How dare you live loudly and boldly without permission, right? And it's like internal. It's like, well, how long are you going to find your people unless you go out there and you talk and you, you expose yourself, right? And your vulnerability. And that's the thing that people attack. And they want to smash you and they want to crash you and they want to crush you and they want to change you and all this other stuff. But you um, withstood all of that and you got your shine on and you shined it anyway. And by doing that, you, you brought judgment on those who martyred you. They could not put out your light. And you're here, you're Queen of Swords and energy. Um, you're, you're not emotional about it at all. You're like, hey, look, we're just done. Conflict. You're putting up clear boundaries with those who have, um, on a habitual pattern of joy and fun, brought you conflict. You're setting your clear boundaries, clear, clear boundaries. You're, the relationship is ending, you're moving on, and you're like, hey, you know what they're doing. And the five of wands in the reverse. There's an ending of the conflict. You've got, you're got your clear boundaries up and you're not fighting anymore. It's like, I'm done with you. See, these people want your attention. They need you to pay attention to what it is that they want for you. They need you to apply your energy to it. Um, arguing about it, denying it, saying F you and whatever. I mean, any application of your vital force energy into whatever circumstance they wish you to apply yourself in, whether it's a positive agreement or it's a horrendous, you know, get the F out of my face. It's still you putting your energy into it and entertaining it in some fashion or another. And, you know, it's really, really difficult to not get emotional with this conflict. You don't apply your emotional body to it. You don't apply your energy to it. You don't apply your attention to it. It's like, boom, you know, end of conflict. We're not going to discuss it. We're going to agree to disagree and we're going to stop associating with each other because there's no purpose in this. You wanted to martyr the star. You wanted to bury the star. Okay, let the star remain buried in your experience and just move on. But see, they're mad because they couldn't trap your shine. You're, you're taking your shine with you when you leave. And that's why they were so mean to you, because they wanted to trap your shine. <clears throat> um, perfection. Um, you may be bringing about an end to this conflict perfectly. You're not getting involved emotionally. You're not entertaining any squabbles. You're not going to um, 
get involved in any pity parties. You don't really care about people's feelings at this point. This is the truth. This is not the truth. And this is the boundary. And we're not going to discuss it. You're going to move on. Innocent. You're innocent. And you're choosing not to pour any kind of energy into this conflict anymore. You're letting it go. And, you know, that could be a forgiveness. You know, that could be um, a release. But the judgment is being called here. You don't need to know the backstory. You know that there is cruelty, intentional um, joyous cruelty against an innocent person, an innocent star who was martyred for your shine. You don't need to know why they did it. All you need to know is that they did. There's no need to argue about it. It is what it is. So you're releasing the baggage, you're moving on, you're cutting yourself off from these ones. They martyred your shine, they martyred your star, they wanted to trap your eternal flame and your rejuvenation and essence and energy and abilities, and they could not keep you buried. You popped out as a free spirit in your full freaking glory. The higher fence here, backing you up. You're in your chariot. You're seen as innocent. Your hope is um, here with the higher fence. Social approval and conformity, traditional values, high level commitment. And peace. And the hermit's here shining a light on things. Could be um, researching something or thinking about stuff, mewling over what happened. We got here as is so. All right, so the higher fin is here, right? Soul searching, finding out who's pretending and who is actually what they say, what they're supposed to be. So there's, uh, you're looking in there, finding out the truth. Somebody is here who isn't what they appear, appear to be. Religion. Religion isn't what it's, what it, what you think it is. It's not about peace. It's not about, um, Balance, harmony, love. It's about teachings on how to get a body and the position so that they can horseplay around and have fun and cause hardship for people but guess what you survived and everything has been seen now you were able to bring it all forward and let everybody know what had happened and you're a sovereign being they were bringing drama to leadership and the evermore so you were able to uh, yeah those with privilege they were driving them using the Ouija board into the grave. Religion. Haunting with communication. So in the mental body, they were haunting people of those who care for themselves, who shine, who love themselves, who pour love into the world. That's what these ones did. This wise guy. 
Haunted the the creators. The arter the arters the artistry. And then you look at all the buildings and the construction and you see, you know, everything's like right angles now where it used to be fabulous, fabulous um, structures that were put together, complicated structures. And now um, that they've been siphoning the creator um, energy out of peaceful beings, you can see that they don't have the, the ability to create a jack. All they do is dress up in the energy and pretend. And you can see all the structures have no creativity to them at all. <clears throat> it's because we got thieves wearing the essence of stars. So you've got, you're excited. You've got your freedom here. Your shine is on. Your light is blinging. You're all blinging. You've got your smile going. You're all happy. You're not guilty. You're innocent. <laughs> you were challenged because <coughs> you got freaking martyred by this religious cult. <clears throat> Absence. You were absent. You were absent. They were um, abusing people, puppeting people. Maybe they were puppeting you, dressed up in your shine. Maybe they were acting as you, doing bad things. I don't know. But in the challenge position, you've got star. So there's a, a, a healing or a renewal, martyred absence. So there could be um, whoever martyred you is absent. Somebody, a, a challenge is star, martyr, absent. Somebody wants to make you absent. There's um, a, a bully here, abusive relationships, puppet master. So they were driving you. They were um, manipulating you somehow, neglecting you. They neglected you. You weren't guilty of anything. They're just a bunch of... Um, unalivers uh, for profit and you just happen to be this beautiful sweet thing that was an easy easy target there is um, judgment being called on here you don't know the backstory maybe the backstory is hidden and they're feeling the damage <clears throat> they're hurting from the damage they've caused because you're leaving you you left that baggage behind and they can no longer spy on you They're feeling uh, broken and shattered because of your new responsible uh, union. Your financial and emotional needs are going to be met. You're in a relationship here or a union here. You are leaving with somebody here in a boat. And they can't spy on you anymore and they're shattered about it. They, they don't know where you're going, what you're doing, and they're feeling all broken hearted about it. <laughs> you're sitting here in your Queen of Swords energy, and you're, you're setting up clear boundaries. It's not an emotional event. This is just the way it is, and there is no need to stay connected because you're not going to play that game anymore. That's a new cycle, and you're out of there. You don't even want to apply any energy to uh, say no. It's like, look, just stop, you know? And we're going to stop 
talking to each other. It's pointless. There is perfection here. So perhaps it's handled perfectly. Queen of Swords is not going to be belligerent or chop people's heads off or, um, you know, get into a pissing match with anybody. She's just saying, this is what I, this is my judgment. This is what I feel needs to happen. And this is the boundary. And there's coldness. She does not care about these people who have been neglecting her and puppeting her for, for money, for the fun of it. She's done. She's like, look, you're just scum, so stay away from me. But she's probably not even calling them scum because that has emotion attached to it. And she's not, she's not emotional right now. There's no emotion. There's no, there's just like, meh, probably very like, meh, like <laughs> flat line. Um, and that's the end of the conflict. They handled perfectly. We're just not going to do it anymore. The truth is out. There's no need to argue. The truth is out. There's nothing to fight about. Absolutely nothing to fight about. She's not guilty. She's innocent. <clears throat> Reciprocity. So that's the end of the conflict. We're going to agree to disagree. Um, this is perfection, and I want to have equal give and take. We've got reciprocity here. So it's like whatever they gave to you, whatever they did to you, there's judgment here. The Hierophant is here. He sees that you, you've gained your victory, you're innocent, and, he, and he's here bringing you peace. It's like you're going to have peace. Everybody's going to, they're going to get what they gave. It's conflict is over. Victory here, you're innocent. Victory here, you're innocent and you're not forgiven anybody. You're releasing them. You're releasing, you're releasing that baggage. There's no forgiveness. It's like you're just letting it go. The higher fence here uh, with peace. He sees that you're a peaceful being. You weren't what these people painted you out to be. Your challenge was you're a star and they martyred you and you were made absent. And so um, you had to come back from the dead, essentially. You had, to, you had to work your shine. You had to heal from the trauma. And you had to elevate in your frequency. And you had to get your shine on. Fasting, you know, proper thought processes, breath work, you know, whatever you had to do to bring your cellular structure and your spirit alive after this trauma and neglect. Time. So the higher fence here could be the most high God. Um, there is peace and it's time. It's too late to take any action. It's too late to change things here. We've got the hermit shining a light on those who aren't really this. So the hermit is here shining the light on those folks there. Like, what are you? Are you this or are you that? And that's what's happening. Whoa. Okay. What do we got here? Uh -huh. So there's gossip here. We've got gossip. People are gossiping because um, these folks can't chase you. They're not irreplaceable. They're uh, this union. They don't. They don't respect um, contracts, soul contracts, partnerships, unions, families. So they don't respect that. They don't feel that um, loving somebody, uh, you know, it can become a very much 
irreplaceable thing. They can't chase after you. There's people gossiping about this. You know why? Because they're not you. They don't, they're not at peace. They don't um, work on themselves to maintain balance, inner balance and all of that. They are like this. And so there's the hermit here shining a light on that, finding out the truth about this regarding, and that's the outgoing energy. So that's what we got going on. We got an inspection, it looks like, happening, um, folks, um, here. Uh, we got unexpected outcome uh, regarding these soul ties for these people. These uh, reflections are unsatisfied with the way things are going down they're overwhelmed the stress is draining them because you have an understanding of what happened here they sabotage themselves and they want to fix the connection but this is a new chapter and um they are stuck in shadow daydreaming about you and your money they're confused they're all their their pride they're confused about um, this soul contract they were trying to use passion to gain the soul contract and they're confused they don't know why it didn't work they're in regret and they don't know what to do because they were having a lot of fun not appreciating you a person who loves themselves a star somebody here in service rejuvenate a renewal bringing happiness and light everywhere you go everything you touch turns to gold But you're free you're free page of wands limitless potential here you go you're a free spirit you got your shine on you're all happy here look at that smile look at that smile you got your wings on you got your wings you're not guilty you didn't do anything they just decided to unalive you and then dress up in your shine there and pretend for a while that they were a star. They probably got one a star on Hollywood or Lane or something. And you know what's funny about those stars on Hollywood Lane or whatever? People walk on them. They walk on them. Which is exactly what they do to, um, you know, these stars. Well, maybe not them per se, but these ones who did it in this particular story tempted mm. so you're excited you got your freedom your shine is shining and we've got not guilty we have tempted Somebody got tempted by your light and they and they their challenge. Their challenge is that you're a star who they martyred and made absent and you popped up shining. Leaving in the reverse. So somebody's challenge is what? What is this? Star martyr absence not leaving. So yeah, somebody's been trying to martyr you. Somebody's trying to tempt you. You're not guilty. Somebody said you were tempted. Somebody said you were tempted. You've got your freedom here. You're shiny. You're not guilty. Somebody's trying to say that you're tempted because um, you're a star and they want to martyr you and make you absent. 
stop you from leaving. They're feeling like a part of them is missing without you. This is weird. They're, it's like somebody's trying to frame you with um, theft. They want to abuse you here and puppet you and neglect you. It could be that that's what they want to do. That's what they did. That's what they're trying to do again. I don't like this challenge position. You're trying to keep somebody from martyring you again. You're the star and you're trying to keep somebody from martyring you again and stopping you from leaving. That's your challenge. The snake is here trying to do that. Maybe that's what they did to you. That's what they did to you. Somebody was tempted by your light. They martyred you. They buried you. Tried to stop you from leaving. They're under judgment for this. Because they were um, abusing you. Manipulating your life. And neglecting you. They failed to give you the basics of what you needed. They took everything from you. And left you with the raw material um, baseline, base model, base model, limited um, everything. Flames, many flames. You could have had many lives or many, many, many cycles of this within the big cycle. This bully um, that was doing this to you may have done it to many others. They're under judgment here. You may not know the backstory to this. They're, they and their girlfriend or boyfriend are feeling the damage from this. They're hurting because you're leaving. You're leaving. You're being fierce. You're being very aggressive. There's judgment here. You're like, back off. I don't know what's happening, but they're hurting. Because you're you're letting that baggage go. You're like, get out of my space. And they can't spy on you anymore. And they're feeling broken and shattered by your leaving here. And by the fact that you're in a responsible union, you're, um, you've got a new family, your emotional and financial needs are going to be met. They martyred you and tried to keep you from leaving. And you came out and shined. Empty. Empty. Whoever did this to you, everything is crumbling around them. It's all falling apart. They feel empty. They can't spy on you anymore. They um, Nobody perceives them as you. Perception. They're not seen as you. They're not seen as you. They martyred you, tried to dress up in your energy, but they couldn't pull it off. Uh, they're not seen as you. They're not perceived as you. They're feeling broken and shattered about this. Because you're leaving and you're in a responsible union. She wanted this. Whoever this is, they, she wanted it. She wanted to be seen as you, but she's not seen as you. Yay! She couldn't. Actors, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. You know, the original is really complicated. And um, so anyway, they're empty. They're feeling, they're, they're not feeling fulfilled. Um Everything around them is crumbling. They're feeling broken. Nobody perceives them as you. They may be um, an empty vessel. They don't have any love. Um, they don't have any substance at all within them. They never fortified their um, internal structure. So you're here in the Queen of Swords energy. You're setting clear boundaries. You're not emotional about it. You're just a simple facts. The truth is out here. And you're um, setting boundaries. You're like, we're, we're not dealing with this. This is what it is. Done.
Yeah, they're looking for an exit plan. They want out. It's too late. And like the other day, it was uh, the message was, it's too late to apologize. It, it's just too late. So they're looking for an exit plan here. This is the end of conflict. Everything's going along perfectly. There is perfect perfection in the reciprocity. Perfection in the reciprocity. Perfection in the way this is handled. Guilty. Are going to get what they gave. You've gained a victory here. You were able to use your willpower. And your love of self, I mean, you love your stars, your internal stars. And you're like, oh, my stars are not going out. No, they're not. No, they're not. And you did not let your stars go out. You kept your flame going. You kept your light going. You kept it going. Regardless of how they neglected you, regardless of how they hurt you, you kept it going. You're innocent here. You are innocent and there's no forgiveness for these ones. The Hierophant is here bringing peace and it's time for that. That could be the Most High God, you know. This has been a, a predestined, orchestrated event, you know, that these ones knew was coming. They, were, they martyred you and dimmed your light trying to prevent you from leaving. They did this to many people. They were tempted by this, by this, um, I mean, I don't know what kind of price they paid with, with other people's light, martyring stars. Needs. We got needs. So there's no forgiveness. We got needs. Emotional needs aren't being met. So um, it could be that whoever did this, there's no forgiveness and their needs aren't being met. You are innocent and you're leaving the higher fence here uh, with a high level commitment regarding tradition and, um, you know, um, moral, ethical values regarding the sanctity of life and union. And these ones, you know, neglecting you and then driving you into um, a horrible circumstance, um, that's obviously wasn't you. It was manipulation. They martyred you, put you in the worst circumstances, and then tried to say that was you. This is ending. You know, it's one thing if a, if a person has the, um, the best of all circumstances and they, they wind up being a great person. But if somebody has the worst and the very worst of all circumstances and it's just painful and it's hard and it's difficult and there's lots of people trying to block their way and they still come out shining like this. I mean, I don't know how anybody can even um, try to argue with that. Drowning. <coughs> so there's the hermit here shining a light <coughs> on those who are pretending to be uh, peaceful, loving, um, you know, ba well balanced and harmonized individuals. Uh, there's gossip going on that they can't chase. They can't chase after you. They're not seen as irreplaceable uh, beings. They didn't cherish their their union 
or their um, partnerships um, and they're feeling like they're drowning everything's going under for them everything's crumbling here they this is a blind spot they didn't see this coming they got caught up in a whirlwind and uh, they were neglecting people they were not paying attention to what is important and they were playing games with love They were not willing to settle down or be responsible. They're reaching out, trying to connect, um, but love is eluding them at this time. They have to face it. They're childish and they got tangled up in a web. They might be uh, far away or they might be going far away. Things are very hard for them right now. Um, they could be attached uh, to the dark side. Well, that's where they've been playing. Things are very rocky. Things are in ruins. Um, everything is falling away. Everything's falling away. Everything's crumbling. They're feeling like they're drowning. They're feeling crushed. They're hurting emotionally right now. It's a, it's going to be a long, long road where they're not going to have any support. And they're going to have to struggle. And they want you forgiveness. Because they lost. They lost this conquest. Or maybe they wound up being the notch in the headboard. I don't know. But now they're feeling like they got burned. Now they're feeling like they got burned. They martyred you, star. They buried your light, made you absent to try to prevent you from leaving with the Hierophant and um, the Most High. They wanted you to be seen. What a horrible freaking game. To play with innocent. The innocent. So there's excitement. You've got your freedom. You're not guilty. There is tempted here. Somebody, somebody may be tempted. You might be tempted by something. Somebody might be trying to tempt you. But it says, why not just opt out? It will be better in the long run. Somebody may be trying to come to tempt you. Maybe you've already got this in your mind that you're like, hey, if something comes up here, I am like going to say N-O. You're like, no, you, you're like, you know, why not just opt out? In the, in the event that you're tempted, you're just going to be like, no. You're going to be saying the big N-O. You're going to say, I'm opting out. I've got my freedom here. I'm shining brightly. I'm not guilty. And I'm not going to play with you. That's what you're saying. You're like, this is over, man. I'm not playing a nice game. You're a being of service. And you feel good when you can help others. But you, you, uh, you're you not going to play. You're like, you're waiting. You're waiting. So what this is, is like, you know, the Hierophant's here. It's time. He's bringing an ending to this. The innocent are here with the chariot, right? They've gained a victory. Uh, or you, uh, micro or macro, however you want to see this. You're innocent. There's no forgiveness for those who um, were not meeting your needs, who neglected you. 
and who could have martyred you many times, trying to prevent you from leaving at the end of this cycle. I really believe this has happened many times, you know, uh, through reincarnated, you know, people only live about 50, 80 years, you know, but uh, this has been going on a long time and this has been uh, like there's larger cycles and then smaller cycles within and there's um, all kinds of stuff that happens if, if I don't know, may, people get distracted by the television and I just sit around thinking a lot. Denial. Denial. They're in denial. Or maybe there is denial. They wanted you to be denied. This is your challenge. There may be a temptation here. Somebody may try to come up and want your services for something. Maybe somebody was tempted by your services. Maybe you were offering a service to somebody and uh, somebody was trying to tempt you. Whatever it is, it, um, opt out, opt out. Because there, your challenge is that somebody martyred you because you're a star made you absence to to stop you from leaving to get you denied they wanted you in denial they didn't want you there that's your challenge that was your challenge but here you are shining brightly and it's known you're not guilty you may be offering services you you may be offering oh so you're not guilty, okay? So what you are, you got your excitement here, you're free, you're shining, you're not guilty, and you're offering a service. You feel good when you can help others. So there's some folks that are tempted and they're considering going astray and you are offering a service. You're like, why not just opt out? It'll be better in the long run. So you're, you're offering guidance to people who were tempted or who, or who are tempted. This could be a service that you're offering right now. Um, you may be trying to counsel people. It could be in the spirit or in the um, 3D. Take that however it resonates for you. Your challenge is that you're a star and you were martyred and you were made absent in the hopes that they could prevent you from leaving and get you um, denied. That was your challenge. Brutal, five of swords, puppet master, neglecting you, many flames. They could have um, martyred you over and over and over again. To build their case against you. But you have no recollection of the backstory. You have no idea who you are. You, you have no idea what's going on here. And these ones tried to build a whole big story about you, but you're like, what? And the life that you're living right now just doesn't doesn't support it, you know? You are um, here, you're acting very fierce, or maybe somebody's acting very aggressive toward these people on your behalf because you're not guilty, you're innocent. You're very courageous. You handled, I really think they martyred you many times. And I really think that they degraded your experiences over and over and over again in the hopes that you would receive a denial and that you would be prevented from leaving when this big cycle closed out. Rotten, rotten, what's mean? Surrender. Surrender. They got a they got a surrender. They neglected any flames. Now whether this be um you know martyring you many times 
or whether it be they did this to many people. It happened. And now they need to surrender their need to control this. Because you're offering you're here offering a service to those who are tempted. Those who they're trying to draw in. It could be that you're shining your light here on that. You are shining a light. You're not guilty. You're innocent. And so it could be that you're innocently shining a, a light on the truth. There's judgment here. You you don't know what the backstory is. Somebody's hurting from what they've done to you. Um, somebody's acting aggressive. They're being very fierce, uh, protecting you. Could be that you are acting very fierce. But you're not in that boat alone. We've got success. Success. You know that there's no greater goal than to love. And you're protecting it. You're protecting it from these people who did all this bad stuff to you and now they're feeling the damage. You're just like, hey, uh, no, you know, you're just going to have to go away. And you're not alone here. You're not alone here. You're not in that boat alone. You're not in the, you're not handling the responsibilities alone. Um, these, this person who could not, oh, Toby, dang. Uh, this person who could not um, be perceived as you is feeling broken and shattered. Sorry, guys. He's talking about something. And everything is crumbling for them. They're feeling their cup is empty. Like they may not have any uh, money. So, Toby, stop. They might not have any uh, money or love, or a soul, or their pockets are empty, I don't know. The illusion is crumbling, whatever the illusion is that they that they tried to build, it's all it all crumbled, because honesty is here. The truth is known, look at that, the truth is known. Where was that? There was out here too, yeah. The truth is known. And it could be that you survived, your shine is out here, um, and and the truth is known. You're very responsible regarding uh, your, your life, uh, those who you take care of. You, f you love family. You're not out here gallivanting around. You're in your Queen of Swords energy. You're... Um, Got your clear boundaries out there. You, the truth is out. You could be talking about the truth. You could be talking about the truth. Wow, that's a lot of cards. Oh, but this one. Friendship. You understand that a friend is in your life for a reason. Uh, they're looking for an exit plan. They might, they might want to uh, talk to their friends. Maybe you are here with your friends. Um, creating boundaries in this conflict uh, based on the truth. Uh, and it's not emotional. It's not revengeful. It's not aggressive in any way. It just is what it is. And there's a non-participation. It's like this is done. And that's exactly what this Hierophant is here doing, saying it's over. And it's time. And we're moving into peace. Okay, because that's an end of this conflict. We're just done with it. It failed. Whatever endeavor they were trying to pull off, it failed. So we're ending the conflict. It's done with perfection um, in, in reciprocity. So there's recipro reciprocity for the guilty. Reciprocity for those who lied. And we're cheating and and um, messing around with flames, lights, stars, star beams. And that was, um, uh, well, just a short time ago, uh, was they should have loved them for what they, for what they are, the star. They should have loved them for what they are, but instead they martyred them. And decided that they were going to trap them in darkness and then 
prevent them from leaving while impersonating them and then going up to the heavens or wherever that is and then bringing war there or bringing um you know a dilution of the genetics or whatever i don't know i can only say what is coming to me <clears throat> Perseverance. Perseverance. So uh, that's what this is. There's an ending to the conflict. It's handled with perfection. There is a reciprocity for the guilty and they will need to persevere. It could be that um, they're going to need to learn uh, that they can accomplish whatever they set their mind to. Or it could be that this has happened because of your perseverance. <clears throat> because of your perseverance. <clears throat> because of your perseverance, um, those who are guilty of bringing all this conflict to you, stars. And it's not just you, so um, there could be a very special somebody out there. that was able to um, rise above this neglect and come out shining still, even though um, of this tremendous stuff and be seen as innocent and peaceful and responsible. Amazing, amazing. Okay. <clears throat> you got your victory here. You're seen as innocent. There's no forgiveness for those who uh, were neglecting your needs. Um, we've got no discipline. Yeah, they had no discipline regarding your happiness. Regarding the happiness of an innocent child over and over and over again they neglected their needs there's no forgiveness for that they did not care about the family about irreplaceable unions about families about um about the love and the light and the renewal and the you know continuation that comes with the star being so <clears throat> they had no discipline and they were very, very happy to neglect your needs. You're innocent. And you're moving. You've got a victory here over these people. The Hierophant is here. <clears throat> uh, restoring peace or bringing about peace or on behalf of the innocent folks who were able to rest in peace during this extreme challenge and it's time for this to end and there's nothing they can do about it death whoa Okay, Toby, come on, try again. Come on, try again, baby. Come on, you can do it. Come on. There you go, baby. Are you all right? He tried to jump up and then fell down. So what we got here is the Hierophant bringing about peace. Uh, this is the end of this conflict. It is time, and it's too late to take any action. We've got endings here with... What is that? No death. No death. So, um, no death. So the, the, the undead, what is that? This, um, 
this what they've been doing they've been living a long long time like without dying and i think it's been because they've been harvesting they've been martyring and harvesting the energy out of stars and so their relationship with batteries is ending that was a message i got a couple months ago and i think that's what this is those who have been enjoying life long long lives without death because they've been taking the energy out of the stars while they've been put in darkness and suffering uh, they continuously martyr them uh, and so they've been living long long lives so the Hierophant is here bringing peace it's time to take action uh, those who have been living long long lives by siphoning the energy and the life force vitality out of stars beings earth angels um, you know those who there's something about God eaters, and I think that's what that is. You know, eating the vitality of the star being as a commodity, as a sustenance to make certain that they don't die. They're just never ending, and they're gods, right? Well, their relationship with these batteries is ending. They could be in regret. They may know this. We've got the hermit here shining a light onto those who aren't. Those who are not. Those who are pretending. They are not as they appear. They're not at peace. They're not in balance. They're not calm. They're not happy. They're not true or responsible. They're not as they appear. So the hermit's here shining a light on that. Um, checking it out and people are gossiping because they can't chase after this they're not irreplaceable beings they don't um, value their their partnerships their marriages their family unit their dedication to their spouses and what they're building together as a unit right um, and they're drowning here they're going under they can barely keep things afloat uh, they're in regret they're seen for what they are. They're seen for what they are. We got doubt here in the reverse. So there's no doubt as to who they are. They can't chase after this. They, they Yeah, they're not irreplaceable beings. They're like this. They've been lit. Yeah, this is horrid. Wow. So there's no doubt about who they are. Um, and they're, everything's crumbling. They're in grief. And you can trust in that inner voice uh, with you. Things are coming back into a state of perfect harmony. And you are free. You're getting freedom from those who are prideful and envious. You're... Um, you're, you're going to be able to focus on the lighter side of life. Pretty soon, you're going to be able to laugh at this adversity. And um, you've got your health. You honor the physical vessel that enshrines your soul. So that's um, part of probably uh, what was able to bring this all about. Honoring your physical vessel, you know, and honoring the spirit of the divine that is within that vessel. You know, the one who shines, right? Earth angel. <clears throat> we'll pull one more. Just because I like these cards, they I like the I like the clarity it adds. Although we got a pretty good story here. That's wild that that turned out like that. You're excited, you're free, you got your shine on. You're all shiny and you're happy. 
you're not guilty. You're offering a service uh, to those who may be tempted um, <clears throat> by these teachings. Um, you're, you may be talking to them about the future. And its potentials, its limitless potential. There's really no reason to be tempted by anything other than this, this, that's inside and the potential that it holds, the potential that everybody wants to connect with because they want to use it. what we can create together, right? As a collective, all these special, um, all these special skills and potentialities that each individual holds, you know? So, and um, it, it could be that um, there's sabotage here, this tempted thing, you know, they might be, there may, there may be a counseling about um, attempted sabotage of the future so that could be something that the star is doing, the shining one. Uh, their challenge is that uh, the star or stars, the earth angels, whoever has this, this rejuvenator um, healer um, essence, uh, have been martyred over and over and over again, being made absent in the attempt that they would be denied by the Most High and prevented from leaving. This is the challenge. They were trying to sabotage the earth angels uh, to keep them trapped in a state of darkness. And it could be that that's where all these many flames are being neglected. And that's maybe what happened to you. But you were able to um, somehow elevate out of that and then shine on right here in the central energy so that the Hierophant Most High, everybody can see it. And that's the sabotage thing, you know. And I used to get that all the time, you know, being warn yourself but she's sabotaging herself and i was you know pff, whatever so what it is is you can't find your you can't find your people if you're too afraid to shine you know if you're too afraid to align you know and you can only align if you if everything's exposed you know um otherwise you're just playing guessing games you don't know where your tribe is you know, and you can't allow anybody else the opportunity to truly come into alignment with you if you're too afraid to show yourself. And it's vulnerable. And especially when these people were out and about doing stuff, man, it hurt a lot. I'm sure many of you got your heart broken many, many times because you're honest. So there is honesty here. The star is honest, truthful, and transparent in all interactions, even when it may be difficult. The good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, just because you're a star doesn't mean sometimes one falls out of the sky and goes crashing to the ground. You know, I mean, that's the good, the bad, and the ugly. And it's like these, these, these ones, um, they, they wanted you to be seen as completely ugly, right? But that's just not how creation is. Creation contains everything, and sometimes you fall down. But they martyred you, and they made you absent. And then they dressed up in your energy, siphoning your energy. They dressed up in your energy, and they did stuff, hoping that you would be denied and prevented from leaving. But there's truth here about this star. And I, and I think that's the challenge, is, is allowing the truth to be seen. That you're an honest, transparent, authentic, good, bad, and ugly star. Sometimes you fall down. Sometimes you do things that a lot of people find, um, you know, unsavory or whatever. But you're you are the star, and you're not out here martyring people and you know puppeting people and and brutalizing people. I mean, you know. Some people think, you know, you shouldn't eat Twinkies, you know. I mean, there's just stuff. Everybody's got their thing. 
So, but this was an abusive relationship over and over and over again. Very, very, very abusive. Many flames, perhaps many life cycles of neglect uh, while being puppeted into abusive relationships so that they could paint the picture that you um, were not worthy of leaving. We've got health in the reverse. So they um, have to release their need to control. They're not able to affect your health or it could be that um, they can't affect your health and it could be that they're having ill health. They can't affect your health anymore. They cannot do this to you anymore. You're free. And judgment is being called here. You don't know the backstory. You may not have a complete memory of all this um, that has happened. There is very fierce aggressiveness. Uh, regarding this circumstance right now because you are a successful being you know that there is no greater goal than to love and that love of self is um, what pulled you through responsibility and you're fiercely protecting your love you're not giving it up to some schmuck who just wants to come in and you know uh, love bomb you or something it's like you know and you, you but you're aware of this and it's like and this person and their girlfriend or boyfriend they're hurting from this because you're being fierce you're being aggressive and um, you're just protecting yourself you're protecting your love you're like you're not gonna martyr my love again no you know the truth honesty is here and you're in an honest yeah, they were bragging about it. They were bragging about the damage that they were doing to you. And now they're hurting because the truth is out. They can't, um, they, it's indisputable. It's indisputable. The relationship is ending. You're leaving this baggage behind. The truth is out. And if you can't if you can't expect it from others, you can expect it from yourself. And this is your motto. And that's the way it is. You may be even telling on yourself if something happens. If you do something. You know, like, I don't know. Whatever. But you're very responsible regarding your financial and emotional needs. You take care of yourself and those that are in your environment your family even if that just be um, a furry little canine or some other um, little critter there is somebody feeling broken and shattered because they're not perceived as you they're not seen as you they're empty inside and everything is crumbling secret there may be a secret queen of swords is here uh, sword raised setting clear boundaries regarding this conflict the truth is revealed uh, somebody needs an exit plan they might be trying to um, get in touch with their friends or um, the Queen of Swords is here with her friends, his or her friends, um, uh, doing doing um, boundary stuff, setting boundaries. Somebody's looking for an exit plan. This one who wasn't able to be perceived as you. Laugh in the reverse. This isn't funny. It's no longer funny. They're not laughing. The conflict is ending. 
We've got perfection about reciprocity for the guilty and it's coming about due to your perseverance. Um, whoa. Somebody wants to check in and you're uninterested. You don't want to talk. There's nothing to talk about. You were able to um, survive whatever this was and 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 uh, shine your light on this subject and you're not interested in checking in. You've got your chariot here and you're moving on in victory. Um, you're seen as innocent and there's no forgiveness to these ones who were, um, they weren't, me they weren't m meeting your needs. They were neglecting you in a severe way, martyring you perhaps through many life cycles. And there could have been many others that they did this to. Um, they were happy with a lack of discipline. It made them happy to be undisciplined and cruel. We got travel in the reverse. So they're not going anywhere with you. They're not going anywhere with you. There's no forgiveness. The Hierophant is here bringing peace. It's time. Uh, it's too late to take any action. The um, days of death in the reverse of no death, of living good long lives on the energy and essence of star beings or earth angels is ending. The relationship with batteries is ending. Fent. <clears throat> They have something to get off their chest. <clears throat> I don't know if that means there's some sort of a thing in their chest. And I'm thinking about that movie with that what's his name Downey Jr. or whatever in that where he dressed up in that robo flying space you know whatever superhero thing and he had that nuclear heart or whatever it's kind of what I'm getting there like a vent something I have to get off my chest um death in the reverse is ending it's like there's vent there's something that needs to get off the chest whatever that is <clears throat> um, uh, there is uh, the hermit here shining a light on those who are pretending they're not actually who they say they are they can't chase after you they're not irreplaceable beings there's gossip about this and they're uh, everything they're drowning everything under them is falling away they can barely, barely keep themselves afloat there's no doubt about um, who they are there's no doubts there's impeccable um, knowing regarding this circumstance and situation. Safe space. They need a safe space. Or it could be um, that there is a safe space being created for um, responsible family units. You know, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting out of that. So, and there's plans. Yeah, there's plans uh, to create a safe space. That's the plan. Because um, this tribe, whoever this tribe is, it's been martyring people over and over and again or whatever. Um, they have been living, living in chaos, um, bringing chaos, and they've been tricking people um, into thinking that they they were in they were positive, and loving or whatever, but they're actually full of envy and an imposter, and they're greedy. They were intrigued. They found themselves curious. 
and they wanted more so they came in and they got greedy with it and they became very unfriendly with your welcoming nature and it could have started in the past with a very small favor perhaps a gift of sorts it could have even been um, great news about a career and that gave them a reconnection for their dishonesty hmm. and there's bad news about the deliberate manipulating manipulation of um, perceptions about reality Anyway, uh, that's what I got for you. I hope that this clarifies something that you already intuitively knew, or at least, uh, oh no, it's very interesting. So I will see you on the next one, everybody. Bye.